Yo, what is going on guys? In this video, I'm gonna show you how I easily soloed Realm of Legends Wolverine with a three-star Aegon in under five minutes. Now, this has obviously been the most challenging part of uh, of King of the Combo uh, in Karina Volume 2 challenges, doing Realm of Legends with just a three-star Aegon. People have been having issues with Wolverine. Now, it's the assumption that Aegon, once he's at a 500 hit combo, is supposed to basically turn the fight off, essentially, right? So we can look at what it says here. Um, and I don't know if this is bugged or if it's working as it is. I never, I never want to even make an assumption because with Kabam, you never know what's bugged or not. You could think something's working perfectly normal and then you find out it's bugged. Or you could think something's bugged and then you find out, no, that's how it's supposed to be. Because that's just... Kabam, in a nutshell. So, at 500 hits, critical hits cause the opponents to suffer minus 100% reduced defensive ability accuracy for Aegon's next hit. I think the problem is, is that Aegon's critical hits aren't guaranteed. So, and he doesn't crit like 100% of the time. So occasionally, he won't crit and maybe a regen will slip through. I don't know if that's maybe what's happening. But regardless, regens still happen. Doesn't matter what combo you're at. I was at a max combo and regens... We're still proccing and obviously people are, are having the same issue uh, because people i've heard people having to use a bunch of revives on wolverine so how, how did i do it how did i solo this fight so easily okay a couple things first let's talk about masteries because that's a big component I, I think i also was slightly boosted i'm not sure i had a boost on i'm not sure if it was still active during that fight um i just had like so you know you can always boost to help uh your damage output but as far as masteries go this is what Brian, he made a video on this a long time ago, and he called it the Naked and Afraid Mastery Setup, which essentially is zero points in the defensive tree and uh, a lot of stuff in attack. So I have maxed out Suicides, I have maxed out Deep Wounds, I have Assassin, I have Max Despair, I have Max Enhanced Fury and also Extended Fury. These Masteries were really useful. Once I built Aegon up, I put this Mastery Setup on, and he was just cruising through. Karate Mike, I, I don't believe you suicides in his run took about two hours. My run was like 40 minutes faster because of um, mainly because of suicides here, this mastery build. Um, so if you can use suicides, that's great. Um, and definitely you want to max out these furies because the strategy that I use, you know, you get hit, then you special three and uh, you do a crap ton of damage and your furies last longer with these uh with these masteries max time they also give you more potency you don't need any defensive points because you can shrug off the debuffs from suicides right away um so you don't need willpower which is really why you have the initial points in the defensive tree anyways just to unlock willpower for suicides but it's not needed with Aegon uh, for this channel specifically so you can leave out all your points here and then you do need to put some points over here it is very very important um into, into countering wolverine so there's a couple strategies uh, that you can do first off we have the pacify mastery here max this out if you want to play like super slow and safe you can go for the play style of just parry three hits only attack while they're stunned and pacify pair with Aegon's abilities they shouldn't be proccing much regen if any at all that's going to take a little bit longer i did that a little bit throughout the fight which you'll see i parry slow play a bit at some points but for the most part that's not really what i do this is, it was my first time doing the fight so i didn't even have a strategy going in i just kind of figured it out that's what i like to do i just kind of wing stuff just winging it when i'm in there and kind of figured out my own way to go about it what i started doing is for all of my fights i would use my special three and I would try to bait some specials beforehand and uh, charge a heavy, get hit, so I get the Furies. Then use special three, they're stunned for a long time, and that's when you get in your big increments of damage. That's what I've been doing, and it had been working very well. And so I just kind of started doing the same thing to Wolverine. And what I found was, because you apply a super long stun on your special three with Aegon, uh, what actually ends up happening is if you max out Petrify and Despair here, we have 50, this is from one debuff, one single debuff, my, just the stun debuff from Aegon Special 3. Uh, it was healing for around, over 3,000, he's healing on Wolverine, 3,000 something, which you guys can see in the video. Um, you'll see the fight right, right after I explain. Um, so it was like three, healing for 3,000, and then with just one stun debuff, we have, because I have Despair Max, that's 15% for the stun debuff, that lowers his healing by 15%, and because I have Petrify Max here, because Wolverine is stunned, that's an additional 30%, so 
we're cutting his healing in half by 45%. That's huge. And what I ended up doing towards the end of the run, you'll see, is I was just holding my special three until I procced a regen. Then I threw it because boom, that cuts his regen in half, applies the stun. We benefit from pacify, uh, sorry, from petrify and from stupid and <laughs> and from um, despair. And also because we have pacify max, when we're hitting him, when he, that super long stun duration, he's not triggering regens. So all of this paired together, that's what allowed me to solo the fight with pretty much ease. So yeah, guys, that's that's my tips for you. Watch uh, the gameplay, what I did. And uh, like I said, I didn't really have a plan going in, but that here's me kind of explaining what I figured out and what I learned after doing the fight. Good luck. Hope RNG is in your favor. And uh, yeah, enjoy uh, my fight and soloing it. You should be able to find it. You scroll down from options. It should be underneath the the like the friend the invite request. And there you should be able to find it. The Aegon versus Wolverine fight, 1k combo, so frustrating. Alright guys, uh, here we go. Good luck. Thanks. Should be fun. Thanks man, no problem, Pancake Master. Rocks of region on the first hit. Yep. Fight. That's nice. fine. Yeah, no, this is fine. It's the best time for that to happen. <laughs> yeah. Indeed. You're already at 100%, you greedy character. Trying to get more help. Oh, there's the first one. What's the plan for this fight? I don't know. Hit him. <laughs> See what happens. Hit him a few times. Great. <clears throat> so the SP3, I'm pretty sure is gonna proc a regen every time because it can't crit. Well, he's stunned, so max pacify and petrify. Even if he does True. trigger a regen, should True. mitigate and prevent some of it. And Carl says, "What's up, Lex?" Yeah, because with so. Mike it was happening, but I don't think he had those maxed out. Have fun with that, Appa. He says he's gonna make a Twitter account to count the days where Legacy hasn't gotten null. Pretty mean. Let's see, is three star guardian can do for this challenge? No. Uh but if you're talking about outside of this challenge, then yeah, he's pretty good. Does need to be awakened though, in my opinion. Uh, is Diablo the only champ that has limited SP3 uses? Yes. Mark, let him waste all his energy. All his power. If it is, says parry SP3 to keep- like, parry three hits and keep doing that, SP3 can proc regen. Oh wow, yeah, that stun is mitigating that regen a lot. Yeah, you're easily out damaging that. Yeah. Oh yeah, true, Airwalker. After he's ramped up, he doesn't. That's why I don't count it. Ooh, big bleed. Nice. Ice and big bleed. For a three star, that's pretty solid.
Not for this exact challenge solo. It has to be three star Aegon, but there is another one where you can use Guillotine 2099. That was very effective to be honest, it was. Should I use revives on these Karina challenges or try for 7.3 completion? I would probably go 7.3 myself. Well, guys, there's a uh, Wolverine so <clears throat> Nice, dude. I, 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 didn't, I didn't want to jinx it. I didn't want to be like, you're cruising on this fight. <laughs> well done. No sweat. Very nice. Oh. Easy. Easy. Like peasy, I said, guys, I easy. literally said easy solo. I'd expect nothing less. Yep, exactly. I literally said that earlier. Easy as this, this is legacy. Myth mythic legacy we're talking about, guys. Come on. <laughs>